when you realize what could be made off of this, all stigma goes out the window. You see a bottle, I see five cents. Nah, <sighs> nothing like a cold can of orange soda. Who doesn't love that? And the best part about a can is that when you're done, toss in the recycling. But I've always wondered, where does it go? In New York City, it goes to these people, canners. But the question is, who are they? Why do they do this? And what's it like in a day in their life? All right, it's about six in the morning, it's dark, it's raining, and we are on our way to meet up with Pierre, who is a canner here in Bushwick, in Brooklyn, which is the neighborhood we live in. Oh, there's a guy with cans, that could be him. Good morning, is are that Pierre? Pierre? You must be Pierre. Something, something told me, that's, that's it, that's it. Hey, What's good up, morning. Man? Within seconds, we were off to the races. The early bird gets the cans. Did someone just leave that bag out there for you? Yeah. Huh. It wasn't actually for me, it's for whoever gets there first. This is no joke. This is no joke. No, you, you've got guys out here earning hundreds of dollars a day. Because of the New York bottle bill, bottles and cans sold in the state come with a five cent tax. People can take those cans to redemption centers and get the five cents back. It's a way of preventing people from throwing cans onto the street. Pierre began canning when he lost his advertising job in the Bronx years ago. It happened at a time when he was also enrolled at the College of New Rochelle. He had to drop out. I ended up losing my place, my apartment. I had to go homeless. I had to go out every day, hours a day, picking up bottles and cans, trying to find a way out of this, walking around with a bass guitar strapped to my back and a big shopping cart. And I said, how in the world did I get into this? Eventually, Pierre got his own place and a new job in a music academy, hence the bass guitar. But he hated it so much, he became deeply depressed and couldn't get out of bed. Even though canning is hard, it gave him freedom. So he quit and went back to it. I went to take a walk. Here are all these blue bags filled with can. And they got the whole street lined up. And I'm saying, wait a minute, man. Look at all of this. This is money. And I said, you know what? I don't care what anybody thinks. I'm going to go up my house and get my shopping cart. These days, Pierre makes money by canning and teaching music lessons. So, so right now, canning is just supporting your income? It's a supplement. The goal is to have my own recording studio in my house. And that's what canning is for. Over the years, he's seen a lot of canning. I had a piece of glass go right through my leg. Oh my god. You find guns, all kind of stuff. You find guns in the garbage? Leave it alone. Okay, you can leave it alone. Wow. You see a gun. Somebody threw it here, so they could have killed somebody two minutes earlier. Have you seen a massive increase in flavored seltzers? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. While we were walking around, we ran into Pierre's friend Wade, who was just finishing up from a long night of canning in Manhattan. Hey, what's up? You already did your thing? Yeah, I'm done already. Oh, you've been over here? Already? Yeah, I went over there. I'm done already. I'm done for, I'm done for today. How y'all doing, man? Hey. I'm Wade. 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 This Alex. is a good man. Is a canner? Here. Wade shared with us how his mindset about canning keeps him going, regardless of how people treat him. It's the way I see everything, you know, the game is unlimited. I don't care what it is that you're doing. It's mandatory for a human being to drink something. You gotta drink some water, you gotta drink some soda, you gotta, you're gonna drink a beer, and you're gonna throw it away. I've seen guys, like, literally, like, see me walking with my back, they'll finish the bottle, and they'll throw it right there in front of, in the garbage can in front of my face. And yeah. I'll be like, you know what? And they give me the look like, if you want it, go get it. And yeah. I'll be like, you know what? I'm going to walk past that. When you realize what could be made off of this, all stigma goes out the window. You see a bottle, I see five cents. After sharing some of his canning wisdom, we were going to say goodbye when Wade shared with us why he can't. I study computers on the side, so this is just something that I'm using to do it as, a, as, 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 as time progresses. This is my goal. This is a Facebook t-shirt and I wear it every day. My goal is to either get hired by Facebook or Google. I'm doing Python programming language and JavaScript at the same time. That's my goal, not this. I'm not going to rule myself out because you know what? Oh, I'm just some poor canner who needs to put it and if that's the attitude that you think that I should have, I think you are sadly mistaken. And this is a lesson that was impressed on us time and time again during our day. You have no idea who canners are and why they're doing it. Some people recently lost a job. 
Some people can't find one. Some are funding their dreams. Others need a few bucks for drugs. And even more, just need more money than they're getting paid at their primary job. And with that, we picked up a few more cans and went our way to the Redemption Center. We're at sure we can. Okay, this is just another world. You come through this gate and we're just in like this multi-tiered jungle of cans and bottles. I told you this place is crazy. This place is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out New Yorkers drink a lot of beer. People just are out on the streets collecting, but a big part of this is also sorting so that each of these brands can pick up their own bag of stuff. This is a giant bag of La Croix, and that's a giant bag of Pepsi. All the Poland Springs are over there. You could see how they start getting sorted. There are about 40 redemption centers in the city, but this is the only nonprofit one. They process about 10 million cans a year from canners across the city. Who are canners? Who are these people that are that are here? What would you say? I would say that they are very hardworking people, that they, they come here um, because they need the money. They need an extra income. Some of them, this is their job. Although canners can earn enough to pay rent and feed their families with bottles and cans, no one is getting rich. This job is an economic lifeline. The big boon on canning was after the economic crisis in 2010. It's all connected. Poverty, cans, healthcare, homelessness, it's all connected. How much are they on average making? I know it varies. As a full time, let's say about a hundred dollars. The lowest, I mean, we have a guy, he comes here for 30 cents. How do you see this and you tell me nothing's wrong, everything's all right, our econ economy is going good for who? Not them. Who's it going good for? Uh, the 14 and 13 hours. <laughs> but it's a lot of work. Yes. Yeah. It's not, not, it's not easy to, uh, to do this job. No. So even though the Dow and NASDAQ are hitting new highs every day, these numbers don't reflect reality. This, in many ways, does. At the same time, like Wade said, they aren't looking for pity. If anything, they deserve admiration. These are the people who don't give up. Here we we want to provide to provide a place to the canners where they feel respected, where they can build a community, they can feel treated like, like you know, like regular human beings. At the end of the day, what does what has canning done for you? Well, canning for me, and I literally mean this, is hope. You can get into a financial situation where people say, "Oh my goodness, man, I need fifty dollars. I need a hundred dollars." I gotta pay this bill. Oh, wait a minute. Can you go get some bottles again? So that anxiety has been taken away. There's no such thing as you sitting in the house saying I'm broke. Like my man said, somebody is throwing out bottles and cans. I say get up, go get your shopping cart. Get up, get out there six, five o'clock in the morning, whatever, get your shopping cart, go get the bottles and cans. This is the power of canning. As long as you're healthy, you can always pick up bottles and cans. Now, because this wasn't a full day of canning, we only earned $15.25. But we still got a pretty good feel for what this life is like. Okay, so that is the day in the life of a canner. Pierre got us thinking there is a problem with the system if people are digging through the trash for money. But to me, canning is kind of emblematic of New York City. Everyone's got to hustle. It's not always sexy, but there is opportunity to be had if you go grab it. For so many people, canning is hope. And it turns out that hope can come in something as small as a can of Coke. I'm Pierre. This is the life of a canner. Rally on! Rally on. <laughs>